Uh, today I'm going to be discussing with you about the, uh, the video case study of the Year 6-7 boys of Howcombe's Primary School. Jared Lambshed teaches his class and he, uh, that is in the southern suburbs of Adelaide. Um, this is a low ESS, SES area. Teacher behaviour has a huge impact on the well-being and learning of students in the classroom. It's pivotal that the teacher creates a classroom climate which allows students to feel comfortable and safe. Uh, Jared mentions that um, positive culture in the classroom is vitally important. This allows students to be in a headspace to learn and develop. This comes from the positive student-teacher relationships uh, where boundaries are set. Um, the students know the role of the teacher and that they're not their friend but someone they can come to and they can trust. To Noble in 2017, he explains that you should, of course, be friendly, but your role and responsibility is to guide, lead, and teach um, during the school time to help develop them socially, academically, and emotionally to the best of your ability. Um, Ginnett also explains that the influence of the teacher in the classroom, he, descri he described it as a tool of torture or an instrument of inspiration. Um, it can hum humiliate or heal them. Um, it's just, yeah, it has a massive part in how the classroom runs, obviously, and how the student can thrive in the classroom or not. Uh, in this video case study, Jared is, is really calm and collected around his students. He does not display many emotions. Uh, he tries to build that calm and stable classroom environment. Following a workshop from the boys' education expert, Ian Lilico, Jared implemented some classroom strategies as a community circle, uh, such as the community circle, where students discuss, regulate, and manage their own behaviours. The teacher facilitates this conversation and allows peers to better understand how their own and other students' behaviours impact the learning of the classroom as a whole, and also as individuals. As Jared describes, it's about talking about the issues rather than throwing just attentions at them. <clears throat> the community circle reflects the values and principles of the PSMC model, uh, from COPE 2007, as it underpins the processes necessary to provide students with the classroom designed for optimal learning. As seen in the video, the young student Toby discusses with his class about being disruptive and his peers provided him feedback. Uh, they also provide him that positive reinforcement to learn from his mistake and decrease the chance of this behaviour in the future. Um, the values of Lewis's DMA can be seen in the the community circle activity. The aims of the developmental management approach DMA, uh, to classroom behaviour is to turn misbehaving students into obedient students and the obedient students into the responsible ones. By responsible I mean that like students should act to protect the rights of all students uh, and also to learn without distraction as well as obviously be physically and emotionally safe at school at all times. To provide framework or relevance to this, I will I'll with, I'll refer to the theory of power developed by Raven. The, the aim of the DMA is to encourage teachers to minimise their use of legitimate power or coercive power, coercive uh, power, both of which to tend to result in obedience. Uh, this increases their referent, informational, expert and reward power, all of which facilitate responsibility in students. Students are held accountable by each other by self-managing their own behaviours in the classroom, facilitated by their teacher and discussed with one another. It allows students to provide their peers constructive criticism as well as commending each other on their progress from negative behaviours to discussing them and improving on these. Student involvement occurs when teachers share power with their students and involve them in decision making about topics and activities. This is the ba entire basis of the community circle, and it's very effective in doing so. Uh, Salberg and Bose state, they have stated that, in managing learning environments to promote optimal learning conditions, teachers' pedagogical beliefs, goals, values, and expectations are to manifest students in a variety of ways, which verbal, with verbal communication a key component. Uh, obviously, the teacher driving that conversation um, prompting students, things like that.
teachers, they the teachers at the school meet up in a planning session for only to discuss students' tasks and where their respective class is up to in terms of the topic. In this case, what activities students can do to increase their learning engagement and interest levels. During these sessions, they aim to create learning activities and talks about uh, what goals they're reflecting on, as well as addressing the curriculum and being engaging for students. So they stay interested and can understand the relevance of their learning. Twice a year, these teachers take these students to universities and present this program, which demonstrates the positive behaviours which have been created by the program. It allows students to gain confidence uh, in public speaking, <clears throat> as well as better understand the program and how it can positively influence them and how it does uh, positively influence them. The classroom layer is an, alter an alternative arrangement, uh, being inspired by Stephen Heppel. It promotes student engagement with one another as the students sit around round tables and are forced to face each other face to face, which drives conversation. Um, it also helps students if they're unsure of their work, they can discuss it with their student, uh, their peers, um, yeah, a lot of classroom discussion. Uh, this is also in conjunction though with engaging learning tasks, otherwise can promote too much normal non-school related conversation or going off topic. Uh, this, this teaching strategy definitely aligns with my own teaching strategy and approaches, uh, as well as all my philosophies for teaching, as it allows students to take ownership of their learning, which I think is a very important thing. For students to grow academically and emotionally, it is imperative that they also want to improve themselves. And this method of teaching allows students to uh, take ownership of this and can take control of this. Thank you.